Hey guys, this is your boy Ferris, and uh, we're launching into this build here, and as I'm sure you figured out from the title, we're going to be building a high school. But before I start talking about this build, I have to apologize. I've been away for a long time, I have not posted anything in a while, and this episode has actually been sitting in the can, um, not like literally in the toilet, but like it's been done, waiting for me to post for probably almost a month now. And I've been doing so much different stuff. I took some time. I actually left the country for a bit. We went up to Canada. Um, I've been everywhere from the emergency room to out of the country in the last, you know, couple weeks. So this one has been a long time coming, and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope I don't go that far in between posting episodes again. So with my apologies, I present to you the Santa Riella Island High School. So plopped down this great looking asset and uh, for the school itself and what I wanted to do is I wanted to build this on the opposite side of the highway when we get into the live mode we're gonna do a quick live mode after this build and you'll have a chance to see what I mean how this um, fits into the larger map but I wanted to do something on the opposite side of the highway for a change and it's the problem with the land over there is that it's you know right at the base of that larger mountain and it's kind of in the foothills and it's kind of sloped but you know, there's a high school near me where I live that's actually kind of built like this. It's built sort of terraced, so the school is at a higher point, and then some of the athletic fields and some of the other facilities are built lower than that, terraced below that, including the parking lots where a lot of the students park. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, we're playing around with tennis courts over here now, but eventually you'll see in that spot I decided to put some of the, uh, the larger parking lots, especially for student parking over there by the football field. Um, so for me this is all about finding the right space to fit all of the things that I thought belong on a high school campus. Lots of parking, athletic fields, and everything else, and then adding some of the details that just make it seem um, a little more finished, a little more complete, a little more polished. So that's what you're going to get a look at for me. I've also been the benefit of another thing that's been going on. Work for me has been nuts, and I think I've dropped the hint that I work in uh, local government, municipal government. If you know anything about that, you know that this time of the year is budget season, so we're very busy with all that stuff. But another thing that's going on in the town I work for, we're actually exploring a new high school um, athletic facilities. They're looking at different designs and plans and going through the approval process for a new um, turf football field that could also be used for soccer, field hockey, and some other sports as well. And I'm learning so much about um, what goes into that. You know, what, what are some of the things you have to plan for and make room for? And um, honestly, a lot of that educated this build as I started to think about, you know, how I wanted to have this put together so um, it's been a really interesting last month or so and again I apologize it's the result of that as far as a lot of you are concerned is that it hasn't resulted in any um, new videos being posted uh, from my channel but never fear lots more awesome stuff on the way and like I said I'm about you know this is about a month old as far as this build goes so I have lots of new stuff to show off and I can't wait to do it um, there's some really good athletic field assets that are out there, and I wanted to make use of more of them other than just that football field and the baseball field. So I'm trying to make some room here for a soccer field. And um, tried this one first, and ultimately decided I didn't like that one and wanted to go with a turf um, soccer field, something that looks a little more fancy schmancy. So um, we'll get to that in a second. And then the the my favorite part of this build we're going to get to in a little bit will be what I call the San Riala Island Victory Gardens. Um, and I kind of, it's an idea that I kind of uh, took from, gosh, I'm going to mess up who the YouTuber is now, but I'll definitely put it in the description, um, who actually did a garden like this um, outside of the, I think it was an airport. Um, and I thought that was just the coolest thing. So I'm going to have to definitely put in the comments and uh, give credit to the, um, the the YouTuber who I saw do this similar kind of thing. Um, but I think it came out really good, and I can't wait to get to that. Adding some more tables over here in this lunch area, because I figure that just makes sense. You know, um, 
I remember in my high school, when I went to high school, we had a, a huge lunchroom and then just off of it we had a little patio. If uh, it was a nice day, kids wanted to go sit outside and eat, they could do that. And so I wanted to bring that same kind of thing to, uh, to the school. Also wanted to add a lot of foliage and dress up the entrance. I think it looks so sort of just plain and I feel like if the school is going to look good on, if you're going, if I'm going to make you believe that the school looks good and modern on the inside, then I got to make it look good on the outside. So I'm adding some of these tilings in here um, to make it look a little more special. We're going to drop some planters down and uh, and add in some additional foliage on that, but not too much. I really didn't want to add too much because I didn't want it to feel like, you know, too dressed up. Um, but some benches and things like that that I feel are realistic. This is the type of thing that you probably see outside of a, a modern high school without overdoing it so I wanted to keep it really simple and um, and that was my and that was my plan Alright, now I'm getting started on the, what I called before, the, the Victory Gardens. And uh, I wanted to get the high school letters, S-I-H-S, um, written out in these these red flowers, which it was kind of hard to see, so I, I you know had to kind of go over it a couple times so I could see it. But I knew that once I got in there and started outlining it and doing more things, and it would really stick out and it would look nice. So as you see, I'm going over it a couple times now with more layers of uh, of these. And the, one of the big challenges I thought as I started doing it, in order to make this look really good, I knew that the two S's had to match. So I actually just went and tried to you know kind of copy paste using the Move It tool so that at least the S's would be similar enough so they would look like it was you know um, it was well done and it was well designed outlining it with the white flowers again I think just makes the letters pop so it becomes the dominant feature of the garden um, and I think it accomplishes that I mean as soon as you put the white around all of a sudden it the whole thing sticks out more and it's a pretty common technique in graphic design. I'm not much of a graphics designer. I don't know much about that field, but one of the things I know is that's a way to make important text stand out is to do the outline. And then from here, it's going to be filling in around that with a lot of foliage and plants and all of the rocks, of course, all the rocks um, that make it feel like a garden that high school kids could have you know, gone in and, and, and planted. So I didn't want to make it feel like a, you know, a, a Central Park kind of garden. I wanted it to feel like something that, you know, a, a high school environmental club or key club or something like that could have gone out and done and then maintained year after year after year going forward. So it gets a little bit random, you know, those um, white flowers, especially I had to be careful with because I didn't want them to be more dominant in the in the color scheme of this than the, than the letters um, and some of these other flowers as well. But I really do like the way it came out. 
and um, I like the way a lot of the foliage in this build came out. I think it looks really nice. As I finish up the garden here, the, uh, a lot of the remainder of this is putting down trees and other foliage. And honestly, a lot of the uh, tree and foliage plopping that I did, I am not going to show on this because it's a lot of the same sort of thing over and over and over again, just dropping down the same types of trees that make this feel like a more filled out and built high school campus. Um, I also add in, and I don't have this on video either, the stairs asset that I, th I think is a breeze asset, but that kind of connects that lower tier, especially where the big parking lot is, to the upper tier. It makes it feel like something that could be used by students when they park their cars down in that lower lot and then walk up um, to go to class and stuff. So. We're going to go through a quick live mode and take a look at all this. I hope you'll uh, I hope you'll stick with me for that and then of course we'll see it all in cinematics at the end. But I'll see you there. Hey guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Check out this live mode. So this is the universe or I'm sorry, it looks like a university, but it's a high school. San Real Island High School and we're looking now kind of at the back of it and you can see that the stairs that I put in um, that are a great looking asset and connects that upper tier to this lower one, especially since the picture I'm seeing in my head is that this parking lot that's kind of front and center here would be something that's heavily utilized by the students to park and then you know walk up the, the steps to go to class. Um, and that would be the primary use of that parking lot. So obviously having a convenient way to connect the two would make a lot of sense. And I'm thinking, how in the world am I going to do that? I'd have to find some kind of stairs. And then, sure enough, the the workshop doth provide. Ask and you shall receive. So we've got this athletic facility area here now with the football and soccer on the other side. And then the school up here. Um, I picture this kind of area over here. Shoot, let me swing around. Um, this can like, kind of be in just a maintenance area. Um, this garage here, which you can't really see the lights, not great um, at this angle where the sun is, and the dumpster and everything. Um, this kind of be being a, a just a a maintenance area back here. Um, so kind of like the where the property management and, when, and that kind of staff would uh, would all have have their offices and do their thing and store equipment and stuff and hang out. Um, here's one more look at the, the Victory Garden here, which again was probably my favorite part of this build. Um, came out just exactly how I wanted and then a lot of the other foliage that's um, put around here. Let me get a little bit better of a light going on there. Um, 
So you see some of the other foliage that I used. I've started using these just for a different color, you know, wanting another color in my foliage. I've been using these um, golden fall sugar maples, um, which uh, which I think look great. And, you know, if you're using them surrounded by red and brown trees, then it really does scream fall. But when you have them just in here like this, that little bit of gold along with all this green, I'm not trying to get a, a ton of fall stuff in here, but I do like to change up that color and throw that tree in every once in a while just to kind of change up the way it looks. And I think it looks really nice. So I don't want to do too much of a live mode. I don't want to um, spend too much time just showing off this one build. I wish I could show you. There's so much more stuff that's going on, you know, throughout the city. Um, here's kind of an overview. There's so much new stuff that's been built in through here. And the, as you can see, we've really expanded down this way. But a lot of that's going to be subjects of future episodes. So I don't necessarily want to go into all that now when I know I'm going to be doing it in a lot greater detail um, coming up pretty soon. But some pretty uh, exciting stuff and some pretty cool builds have gone on. And uh, so definitely stay tuned to my channel so you can be on top of, uh, of all that. So, but this is the, uh, this is the high school and I thought it would be nice to have it powered by green energy. So we've got the, the wind turbine there. This is one of the new wind turbines that came on the workshop. Um, basically does the same power output as the vanilla wind turbine, but I think it just looks a little bit more realistic. Um, and I just think it looks cool, so I like it. And I want. I went ahead and switched all of the turbines in the city um, out for these newer ones. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think the workshop entry says they're inspired by some ones that are in, in Holland. And here's another little teaser. This statue that you see off in the distance is something I just kind of added in that I love. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'll give you this one teaser um, because I really do love how this came out. This statue is all. This statue is also in the uh, workshop, and I wanted to have something here, kind of like at this off this point, off this peninsula, and it's just perfect. Kind of like a Statue of Liberty sort of vibe is what I wanted here. Something that would be kind of like a a welcoming centerpiece as you're coming to the island, and um, this just did the trick perfectly. And no matter how far away you seem to go, it really does dominate the skyline and it becomes this real centerpiece. Um, and I just love it to the point where I'm, you know, this whole area around it right here, um, I'm thinking I might turn into kind of like a big, almost like a state park kind of a, a feel to it or a national park kind of feel. And, you know, put a lot of foliage in here, some walking trails. You've already got the rocks and sort of the exposed rock and the exposed ledge. I think it's just, you know, and the rest of it around it, where all these trees are, is such a flat area. And we're going to do so much downtown in this area. I just thought it would be a cool place to do that. So there's a little teaser to some future stuff. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll apologize again for being late with this episode. Try not to let that happen again. I've got some cinematics for you of the high school build as you're on your way out. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please be sure to click the like button. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like and what I could have done better. But in the meantime, this has been Episode 9, San Riala Island. My name is Ferris. I will see you guys in Episode 10. Be good to each other, and I'll see you around.